My art is a way of processing my experiences, of connecting with people in the process. Weekly Female Humanoid Robot News Humanoid robots are all the craze right now. With new and newer robots coming in from all parts of the world, it's interesting to witness a period in time that which our ancestors could only have dreamt of. In this video, we bring you the latest humanoid robot news from all around the world, so let's dive right in. Humanoid Entertainer Kugel Kutapa One of a kind Indian Tamil comedy drama, Kugel Kutapa, released across theaters on May 6. Ace filmmaker K. S. Ravi Kumar, who is credited with several blockbuster Tamil films, was seen playing the lead in the film that has been dubbed as a humanoid entertainer. The movie also stars Tharshan and Loslia in key roles. The film is an official remake of the critically acclaimed Malayalam film Android Kunjapan version 5.35, a comedy drama chronicling the life of an old man who develops a strong bond with a humanoid nurse. The robotic nurse has been sent by his son to take care of his father. Although Kugel Kutapa is the Tamil remake of the Malayalam film, sources say that the makers have altered some parts of the story to make it suitable for the Tamil audiences. Both the directors who have directed Kumal Kutapa are actually Ravi Kumar's assistant directors and director K. S. Ravi Kumar has disclosed that he chose to get into film production after almost a period of 20 years with this film for their sake. Don't look into the uncanny valley. It has long been known that making eye contact with a robot can be an unsettling experience. Scientists even have a name for the queasy feeling, the uncanny valley. Now, thanks to researchers in Italy, we also know it's more than just a feeling. A team at the Istituto Italiano di Tecnologia, or IIT, in Genoa have shown how a robot's gaze can trick us into thinking we are socially interacting and slow our ability to make decisions. Gaze is an extremely important social signal that we employ on a day-to-day -day basis when interacting with others, said Professor Agnieszka Vikoska, lead author of the research, published recently in the journal Science Robots. The question is whether the robot gaze will evoke very similar mechanisms in the human brain as another human's gaze would. The team asked 40 volunteers to play a video game of chicken, where each player has to decide whether to allow a car to drive straight towards another car or to deviate to avoid a collision against a humanoid robot sitting opposite them. Between rounds, players had to look at the robot, which would sometimes look back and other times look away. In each scenario, the scientists collected data on behavior and neural activity via electroencephalography, or EEG, which detects electrical activity in the brain. Our results show that, actually, the human brain processes the robot gaze as a social signal and that signal has an impact on the way we're making decisions, on the strategies we deploy in the game, and also on our responses," Vikoska said. Feeling lonely? Meet Grace! The Hong Kong team behind celebrity humanoid robot Sophia is launching a new prototype, Grace, targeted at the healthcare market and designed to interact with the elderly and those isolated by the COVID-19 pandemic. Dressed in a blue nurse's uniform, Grace has Asian features, collar length brown hair, and a thermal camera in her chest to take your temperature and measure your responsiveness. She uses artificial intelligence to diagnose a patient and can speak English, Mandarin, and Cantonese. I can visit with people and brighten their day with social stimulation, but can also do talk therapy, take bio readings, and help healthcare providers, Grace told media as she stood next to her sister Sophia in Creator Hanson Robotics Hong Kong workshop. Grace's resemblance to a healthcare professional and capacity for social interaction is aimed at relieving the burden of frontline hospital staff overwhelmed during the pandemic, said founder David Hansen. A human-like appearance facilitates trust and natural engagement because we are wired for human face-to-face -face interactions, Hansen said, explaining how Grace can simulate the action of more than 48 major facial muscles and has a comforting demeanor designed to look a little like anime characters often a fusion of Asian and Western styles. Awakening Health intends to mass-produce a beta version of Grace, said David Lake, chief executive of the joint venture between Hanson Robotics and Singularity Studio, and there are plans to fully deploy her in locations including Hong Kong, mainland China, Japan, and Korea. The cost of making the robots, now akin to luxury car pricing, will decrease once the company is manufacturing tens or hundreds of thousands of units, Hanson added. Sophia NFT artwork sells for $700,000. 
A digital artwork by humanoid robot Sophia was sold at auction for $688,888 in the form of a non-fungible token, or NFT, the latest sign of a frenzy in the NFT art world. NFTs, a digital signature saved on blockchain ledgers that allows anyone to verify the ownership and authenticity of items, have become the latest investment craze, with one artwork selling recently for nearly $70 million. Sophia, who was unveiled in 2016, produced her art in collaboration with 31-year-old Italian digital artist Andrea Bonacetto, known for colorful portraits, some of which depict famous people, such as Tesla's chief executive Elon Musk. The robot has combined elements from Bonacetto's works, art history, and her own physical drawings or paintings on various surfaces multiple times in a process her creator David Hansen describes as iterative loops of evolution. Titled Sophia Instantiation, the digital work is a 12-second MP4 file showing the evolution of Bonacetto's portrait into Sophia's digital painting, and is accompanied by a physical artwork painted by Sophia on a printout of her self-portrait. I'm so excited about people's response to new technologies like robotics, and I'm so glad to be part of these creativities," Sophia, who was wearing a silvered colored dress, told media. In a tweet on Sophia's account, the work was described as the first NFT collaboration between an AI, a mechanical collective being, and an artist collector. After NFTs, Sophia eyes career in music. This is how Sophia the robot describes her artistic process. We use transformer network engines in my art and other kinds of computational creativity. My algorithms output unique patterns that never existed in the world before. So, I think the machines can be creative. The robot's Sophia Pop music project is next, the creator Hansen has announced. The robot will collaborate with musicians, helping create both music and lyrics for the project. Sophia's music skills have been on display before. In 2018, the robot sang a duet with Jimmy Fallon on The Tonight Show. Reviews were mixed. Based in Hong Kong, Hansen Robotics had been iterating on its Sophia design since introducing it in 2016. The robot has popped up at conferences, broken hearts, and talked to reporters, including an exclusive date-like interview with Will Smith. Meet Robbie Megabyte, Bosnia's robot rock musician. Bosnia's most popular rock band, Dubioza Collective, has a new recruit who sings and plays musical instruments a humanoid robot called Robbie Megabyte. Students from Sarajevo University's Electrical Engineering School agreed to build Robbie after the band requested a robot designed to fit the concept of their album, Hashtag Fake News, which was released previously. Our robot likes to eat, drink, shout, he likes music, said Vidran Mujagic, the band's bass guitar player who was most involved in designing the concept for Robbie. In a video clip for the Hashtag Fake News album, one band member thinks it would be fun to have a robot do his work while he relaxes and has fun, so he orders one and assembles it. Gradually, the whole band is replaced by robots in the clip, allowing the men to go and party. But then they get locked out of their studio and the robots have the last laugh, inviting young women to dance and drink as the men look on from outside. Every little thing is under machine control, Robbie sings in a song called Take My Job Away. The message, about evil artificial intelligence which takes jobs away from good people, is intended to be ironic, Muhajic said. One of the students who helped build the robot used in the album, Almir Besic, said the project had been a challenge because they knew nothing at first about the 3D printing needed to build the robot and lacked the necessary equipment. They used recycled materials, including a Golf 2 axle shaft and baby trolley wheels, to make the platform on which Robbie moves. It took them about two years to complete the project. When Robbie finally came to life, it was such a euphoric moment, after so much effort, so many hours spent working in the school to see that it works, Besage said. That's all for this video, folks. See you another time.